Right about the time that uh, David Letterman was doing um, his late, late night program, and I started to, because he was right in the building at 30 Rockefeller Center, and I would end it up on his crazy program a lot, actually, because as my husband said, there were times when a guest would cancel. Uh, Emerson Fittipaldi uh, got stuck at the airport. He had just won the, I don't know, maybe Indy 500 or something like that. And they said, Gordy, you got to come, please, please. And I said, oh, God. Um, so I'd, I'd go and be a guest. And just Dave would do anything. I mean, say anything. And we just would. What, what kinds something. of things um, would you talk about? Well, he'd always make fun of Maury and uh, always rib about Maury. Uh, I don't know. He'd ask me, um, um, oh, also I did the Saturday news. So I worked six days a week plus those miserable hours. And when he'd say, well, when you do the Saturday news, that means that's the only time I really see you. Sometimes I see you in the early morning. So you only work a half hour a day uh, during the week, and you work a half hour on Saturday. What an easy schedule. You know? So, I mean, he'd just conjure up all sorts of things. Like, what are you doing this weekend? I mean, it was nothing. Or um, it, was a, it was very Seinfeldish, you know? A lot about nothing. But there was this rat-a-tat between the two of us that seemed to work. I mean, he, he one time um, he wanted to go to, a, as, he asked me what I was doing, you know, and one time I was buying shoe trees for Maury, but another time I was going to my dentist. And we showed up at my dentist's office with camera crew and Dave, and really funny. I mean, there were, there were these moments that were just wonderfully classic. And then they used to ask me to do little bits, too. Like, I'm going to break walnuts with my bare hands or something. And they'd show me how to do it. Was, was there any concern about um, sort of, the, you know, being a journalist and oh, the yes. integrity and all that? Yes. I was always, uh, I was always concerned about doing uh, anything on the other side of the fence because uh, there, the pendulum was beginning to swing in terms of journalism into uh, uh, entertainment, crossing the line. And I was always concerned about that. However, I think with because David Letterman was within the NBC family and that other people were on, ranging from Tom Brokaw to John Chancellor and all the rest, it was okay.